Good morning, everyone. This is Nicole. I'm back, and I wanted to do this article on the burglars that have hit the homes of several celebrities, including Yasiel Pugh. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Rihanna and many others, such as LeBron James and Matt Damon, that they're they're thinking they're hoping to to rob them too. So um, these are pictures of three of the people you already know Rihanna in the middle you have Yasiel Pugh on the left who plays for the Dodgers and uh, Robert Woods who plays for the Rams so Robert Woods on the right according to this article actually had his home robbed when he was playing a game against Milwaukee I believe and Yasiel who plays for the LA Dodgers his home was robbed too of a lot of jewelry and Rihanna's home was robbed. So a lot of these celebrities think that, you know, they're safe and whatnot, but apparently not because there's this gang going on around. They think a gang in LA, I don't know how they know it's a gang, but a group of guys going around robbing these uh, celebrities. Now, there was another story um, associated with this. Uh, I can't find it. Okay, a few other links. I have to leave them in the description box about the same story from other other sources. But they say for almost uh, for more than a year, the Los Angeles police have been puzzled by a series of sophisticated burglaries targeting some of Tinseltown's biggest celebrities and athletes. As the list of victims grew to include LA Dodgers player Yasiel actresses Rihanna and Christina Milian, among others the heist became the talk of Hollywood so a lot of these homes are located in the San Fernando Valley Encino and whatnot they say on Tuesday police announced the arrest of four members of a crew after a break-in at the home of LA players LA Rams player Robert Woods he was in the top on the right side and that happened during a game. They also may be responsible for targeting Pugue and Rihanna, according to the LAPD uh, captain during a news conference. And it seems to, they seem to think that they have bigger plans, that they were gonna target LeBron James. Y'all know he's here now playing for the Lakers, Viola Davis, Matt Damon, and so forth. Um, so what happens is they call this type of targeting flocking where they flock like birds to areas where the rich and famous people reside. Once a potential target home is selected, a larger vehicle will be utilized to give the suspects the opportunity to change into more comfortable clothes and hoodies to avoid being recognized and cart away the stolen goods. So they found Tyrese. LaVon Williams, 19, Damaji Corey Hall, 18, and Jashawn Lamont Daniels, 19. Um, these are the suspects they apprehended after fleeing Woods' house on Friday evening um, on suspicion of burglary, according to the LAPD uh, captain. Hall's mother, Ashley Jennifer Hall, 34, was arrested on suspicion of grand theft. And she was charged by the DA with four burglaries that targeted a French singer on August 24th. Pugh's residence on September 18th, a home owned by Rihanna on September 25th, and a residence owned by Woods on Thursday. Williams listed his job as a landscaper when he was booked record show. So Carranza said the three men are gang members found inside i don't know how they know first of all i don't know how they know they're gang members i, I don't know but um you know when black folks is in a, in a group group a group that's a little bit more than three we in a gang apparently uh but found inside one of their homes were fifty thousand dollars in cash plus a pile of rolexes purses and jewels during the news conference woods called the lapd to say he saw the watches on display so they did a press conference on the news out here, it probably was KCAL 9 or something or, or CBS LA or whatever. 
but they did a news conference and he saw one of his watches there when they display all the stolen property which is really stupid because you're going to display all the stolen property as if it was a drug takedown or something Carranza said in a search of an SUV with the men um, that led them to the property that was stolen from the home and a fire and a firearm as well. So it wasn't Milwaukee, my bad. Woods was playing against the Minnesota Vikings when police received a call about a break in at his home on Mariano Street about 7 p.m. Thursday. Okay, first of all, why are they putting out the street where he lives? They not trying to really, uh, they're not trying to secure anything. Basically, this gonna make this man move because you just put out the street that he lives on. People can figure out what street that is. And I'm sure that these suspects of burglary had to have followed them or they know their routines. And they, you know, obviously they know where he lives. They broke in his house. But now you're gonna put out the street he lives on. Oh, he lives on Mariano Street. AKA, hey, you guys, you want to go rob this nigga? Go ahead and do it again. Like, that's what that's telling me. That's not cool, LA, LA Times. Y'all, that's messed up. Uh, anyway, police found the rear sliding glass door smashed and the residents ransacked. A review of security surveillance video showed three hooded suspects with their faces covered going through the home. After police determined that one of the men was a suspect in the Woods burglary, and made an arrest about 11.30 p.m. A search of his vehicle yielded several items alleged to have been taken from the homes of Hugh, Rihanna, and Million, according to a source who was not authorized to discuss the investigation. Then why are you talking if you're not authorized to discuss it? That I don't, I can't really take nothing you say seriously if you're not even authorized to say anything. Anyway, let me go ahead down to this, um, um, I think they have a video down here somewhere. And then they put the dude that played for the LA Dodgers. They put the street that his house is on, Louise Avenue. Man, these people fucking up. Like, mm -mm -mm. next, they're going to put the street that Rihanna was living on. So, this is the video right here the suspects who burglarized the baseball player's residence. They, he trying, I guess he's trying to kick the door in, and he done kicked the door in. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any security. There's no security guard there. You think people with this much money will have a security guard at least, but they they don't. Um, they have security cameras that are linked to a cell phone, and that was a security camera that was through the Ring app. I know you probably have heard of the Ring app, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this there's a lot that's in this article um i'm not gonna go through the rest of it i just wanted to bring this story to let you all know like these celebrities think that they're safe and protected because they have money that doesn't mean anything apparently because you still can get your house broken into just like a regular person and without the proper security and without being surrounded by people who really got your back this can happen, really happen to anybody, but it's, it's worse when you have more money because you're, you're a big fish, you know, and people looking at you, you know, they following you out here. So y'all let me know what y'all think. And oh yeah, I also wanted to say like, we, we know that it's not, hopefully it's not, um, um, a gang. I'm hoping that it's not like a gang situation. I'm hoping that, hoping that it's just, some dumb dudes out here in the street just looking for a come up and they doing this you know randomly i don't, I don't know if it's random or not but i still have questions about this story but y'all let me know what y'all think i don't want to go on too long because i get more information from y'all in the comment section anyway and i'll talk to y'all in the next video have a great day